Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to Jason's Life Life. <laughs> Welcome back to Ryan's Live Life. In this episode, we are in Left From Boy Island here in Pierce, South Dakota. And today is gonna be all about creative photography. And taking shots that would normally be boring and kind of static, stuff like that. And seeing what you can do with them to make them just that little bit more interesting, make them stand out on Instagram, all that fun stuff. Oh, and I should probably introduce the group here. Back here we got Tyson. That's me. Probably not in focus. Up here, leading the way. I doesn't know where she's going, it's Demery. There she is. We're gonna walk around, see if we can find some cool uh, photo apps and see if we can turn some boring pictures into some exciting ones. So, here we go. I gotta take my scarf off. Gotta take my scarf off. Then we're gonna be the model now, I guess. More in the weeds. You, you want me more in the weeds? Weed. <laughs> Less in the weeds. Grab that weed in front of you and just kind of like, nope, the other one. Take right in front of your face. Grab it and then just pull it in towards you a little bit. All right, a little more. Okay, and then look intense. Okay, so. We're just gonna try this a sample shot. It's not the most aesthetic thing ever, it's just reads, but uh, I'm just gonna show you two different examples of, you know, what would just be like a snapshot, as I call it, just a, a general photo that you might take with your iPhone or something. And then what might be a little bit more creative, you know, just the uh, same picture, but a little different angle, stuff like that. So go ahead and take a look at the snapshot right here. So you can see that it's just kind of framed squarely. It's not a bad photo, but it could be so much better with this a little bit more of a creative twist on it. So let's take a look at the quote unquote more creative photo right now. So you can see it's a little different angle. There's a little different background in there. You got the trees. It's just a better contrast between the reeds and her face and everything it just have like a dark background like that. So you can see just by changing my location like two feet over to the left, you can get a lot more out of a photo. That, really isn't all that interesting. I mean, it's just a little patch of reeds in this big old open space. We're gonna keep walking around, see what else we can find. All right, so we just came to another interesting location. We have this little fallen down tree action going on. So let's see if we can get an interesting capture here. Look kind of up and that way a little bit. So the snapshot version, you know, it's not any kind of creative angle, there's no not really any nice framing going on. Anyway, so then you have shot number two. Kind of a nice frame going on. That branch that's right next to her face. There you go. <laughs> Just throw snow when I'm talking, it's fine. Kind of like to have things center sometimes if, if the image calls for it. But a lot of times there's a lot of uh, stuff going on, lots of detail like trees and stuff like that. I don't like it to be so symmetrical because it kind of draws your eye a little bit more to the subject if it's kind of pops out from a more natural place than just being dead center. You know, I kind of like the images to be like a capture of like a real live moment. So not all the time are you looking at somebody straight on, you know, sometimes you're at an angle when you're looking at somebody you're talking to them. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. It's just, uh, I want that different perspective that is a little bit more natural and not so planned, if that makes sense. Not all the time, but in cases like this, that's just kind of the, the goal that I shoot for. You think you can stand on this log? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now! It's a slippery one. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You're still gonna try? What are you doing now? Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? <laughs> I can stand on it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that snow. You just stop moving for a second. Look at <laughs> How you feel after that, Danny? <laughs> Feeling good? Cold. Feeling cold. I take my sunglasses off, getting a little dark in here. 
So we're just gonna do one more shot. It is freezing outside. Uh, we got the sun kind of peeking through up here. These trees are kind of making a nice symmetrical thing. And I know I just got done talking about avoiding symmetry, but the way this is laid out, we have a nice kind of open area on the ground. And the trees just frame that so nice for a nice profile looking image. Okay, so first shot is gonna be just kind of the snapshot. So it's just up, it's level with the head. It's not really all that interesting. It's not a bad picture, but it's not really all that striking. So we're going to our next shot again. Got kind of a low angle. We're kind of using the distortion of the lens to kind of make something interesting with the, with the trees. So again, just do that little slight movement just to make something a little bit more interesting. And you can do this with any camera, like phone, whatever. Just, just don't be afraid to look at things in a different way because that's what makes these images pop like that. And this is just a couple of basic examples, you know, we're, like I said, in not the most interesting area is we're in a bunch of trees with no leaves on them. You know, they're not really all that pretty to look at when it's not in the summer, but we're finding ways to make them look interesting. You know, we have the sun in the background, making it kind of nice pop and that flare around the top of her head. Just constantly be looking around to see, you know, would that be interesting in the shot? Or if I move the camera foot down, is that going to drastically improve this shot? So just try those things, look around, keep your eyes open, and uh, you can take some really interesting shots. All right, so it is insanely cold out here, so we are gonna try making our way back to the car, which I feel like is kind of far away. But just to kind of do a quick recap, this is just a, a simple little video to show you guys kind of my thought process as I'm going through taking photos. You know, this shoot wasn't really planned. We didn't really have a, a set place we wanted to go. Which is what I wanted because I wanted to show you guys that with just simple little fixes, you can make images so much more interesting. And you don't need to plan something. You don't need to have a really interesting background or subject. You can make things pop more by just changing the perspective to be more aesthetic. Which I don't really like to use that word because I feel like people will use that in an unnecessary way sometimes. But I feel like it fits here, so. I've gotten so used to using the 16 to 35 for vlogging lately that uh, this 24 to 105 feels so zoomed in. I feel like I have to hold my hand out so much further. So I hope this quick little video helped you guys and maybe give you guys some more ideas on how to make things more interesting or just how to give things a little bit different perspective and make them pop more. So if you got anything out of this video, let me know down below and this is kind of a prep prep uh, video for an episode coming up soon which I've gotten some requests for which is how I edit my photos it is coming it uh, it's happening I just got to compile some images to have for it just know that that's coming but this is kind of a in preparation video for it so it might end up being like a two or three video series but We'll see what happens there. So with that, please remember to like, subscribe, and to hit the bell button. So that way anytime new content comes out here on Ryan's Live Life, you can be the first to know. I just realized my sunglasses are all messed up. So thank you for checking out my live life. Remember to get out there and live yours.